What is up, everyone? We are in my kitchen. Oh my god. I made some overnight oats with one part of oats and one part of almond milk. And I also put one eighth of chia seeds. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and put some chocolate chips. And then I'm gonna put some almond shavings. I need to change this bag because my shit's gonna fall off. Then I'm going to put some banana, because I can. Okay, so a lot of you guys have asked me to do a morning routine. And I had already done one, but truly I didn't like the way it came out. So I was like, you know what? Why don't I just reshoot it or refilm it, whatever the fuck. And um, here I am. So I woke up like around 10 a.m. And um, the very first thing that I do is eat something. Just because, I mean, I could try to wake up earlier, but sometimes like I go to sleep very late. So it's hard for me to, you know, get up early when I go to sleep late, obviously. And plus this whole quarantine got my whole schedule messed up. Anyways, so the first thing I do is eat just because I wanna wake up my stomach. I want to wake up my stomach and then right after this, maybe like in an hour or 30 minutes, it depends how like full I am, I'm gonna go ahead and work out. Today is like day, so I'll be doing that. Here's some mess in here. I'm gonna also grab some honey. Just put some honey in here. Honestly, overnight oats are like amazing. Mm. Oh my god, that's delicious. So yeah, this is how my little overnight oats thingy looks like. I'm gonna do a taste test. Oh, and I left this, you know, I left the the milk with the oats and the chia seeds and I also put some Greek yogurt. I mixed it all very well and then I left it in the freeze in the fridge the whole night. And then I kind of warmed it up in the microwave for like a minute. Oh my god. Amazing. Mm. But, um, I just recently got out of the the thing is, is that Love you. I a place in my life where I just need to focus on me. Mm. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I still want to be attracted to you, but you're not. Okay, good. Okay. I'm sorry. You know what? Don't be. Just be. This is not. No, because it's, it's not so bad. It's not? Yeah. I know I'm a John Bon Jovi. <laughs> or someone you find attractive. Okay, so I already finished my little sup sum, my breakfast, I guess. And now I'm just drinking some water and um, I'm just letting my food go down a little more because your girl ain't trying to throw up like a heck. Nope. Mm -mm. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and change, you know, look a little more presentable. Because honestly, if your girl wasn't filming, I would probably be working out in these because I don't really care. Uh huh. So, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and change and I shall be right back. I'm back and better than ever. Okay, so like, I don't really like having my hair. Oh my god, that was such a relief already. Oh. Um, I don't really like having my hair up. Oh, look at this hair, girl. Okay. I just got it done. You know, I took one for the team, and I was in hella pain after, but 
my hair needed some help. So I don't really have to have it up because honestly, like, I'm already a bang. All right, like, I don't even feel like working out today. I truly, like, mm -mm, I'm not there. But I gotta push myself, you know, to like do this because I feel like sometimes we let this damn illness like take over our lives and you know like there's so many things that we already cannot do because of this shit so let me get my body back at least so i'm just gonna go ahead and put it up even though i don't want to but i'm gonna be very like you know like i'm not gonna tie it like like super tight like see even my my scrunchie is one of those you know those ugly ones because I just can't, like I said, my head already hurts so much. I already feel like hot. Um, I don't know if you guys could relate to this. I know some people that I've spoken with, they could relate to like having kind of like a fever, but it's not a fever. You just feel like you're having a fever. I don't know if that makes any sense, but like I have that a lot. Even yesterday, like the pain was like really bad. Um, I knocked out kind of early. I usually am on my phone, you know, for a while before I could fall asleep. And um, I just used my heating pad and I was like, out, like a light, ooh, like a light, oh, like a light. But yeah, also if you're a perfectionist like me, <laughs> this little ponytail is probably not good enough. So I'm gonna redo it. Oh, and then just, you know, be gentle with it. Ooh, be gentle with it. <laughs> that's what she said. <sighs> okay, no, that's probably not what she said, but see this is a little cuter. So, anyways, your girl's still a little full, so I'm still gonna, you know, take some time, let this fool go fully down, and then we're gonna start with our workout. Let's go. So I'm done working out. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take a shower and then, you know, obviously change. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make myself another meal. Um, honestly, I'm not feeling too well. Um, my head just hurts a lot. I mean, I'm, I'm really proud of myself for getting through that workout. But, um, you know, this is what happens when you have on you know like you could really have the willpower to do things 
and you get them done and then sometimes you just have to stop and you know get some rest and like lay in your bed and stuff because the pain really like takes over like right now the pain is really bad i don't know how i'm gonna get through showering or even get through making myself some food but um i'm gonna get it done but i'm really proud of myself loki feel like crying because uh, it sucks you know it sucks that you have the energy to like do all of these things but you know the pain just like takes over and it's like <gasps> you thought you were having a good day girl let me show you you know let me show you and um yeah so wish me luck oh my god i'm beat i am dead but i'm hungry at the same time and i feel disgusting so i'm gonna shower do the rest and then i'll see you guys soon oh my god oh. So clearly I made it through showering. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my skincare routine. I already washed my face. So once you look like a glazed donut, you know you're good. Oh, now we're done. Now we get to eat, baby. Oh, oh, oh. Let's go. Can we take a moment to appreciate my beautiful dog? That is probably gonna run away from y'all because he's afraid of the camera. Oh, my love. Come here, my love. Oh, he is my little baby. Come here. Come. So, real quick, I made some uh, tortillas doradas with egg. And I put some sauce. Put some sauce in. And then I'm gonna drink some juice. Honestly, I usually make something a little bit bigger than this, but I'm in a lot of pain, so I'm just trying to get through eating really fast so that I can just go and lay down. Because, you know, I don't want the pain to get even worse, and then for me to not even be able to, like, do shit at all, you know? So I'm trying to, like, get it together. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is what really goes down, you know. Um, sometimes you have to go back to bed because the pain is really bad and today is one of those days. I mean, I'm not saying that the pain is not always there. It literally is always there. But sometimes the pain gets even worse than your daily pain. So this is what happens. Hello. So, you know, I managed to work out to eat shower, walk my dog and all of that. So I'm proud of myself for that. But sometimes literally just the fact that you got up for the day and you even shit, you even brush your teeth and like, you know, like did your skincare routine and like even had time to like make a meal. Like you should be proud of yourself for that one. Or sometimes just for fucking existing for the day. Because only we know how bad the pain gets and how debilitating it is like literally look at me like i woke up with all the energy in the world i was like all right i want to make this day my bitch you know and my day was like <laughs> amazing you know but it's like my illness was like girl you ain't about to have a good day like i'm about to show you and yep the bitch did so here I am. I usually turn off the light completely, like like this, but as you can see my room is very dark. But um, just for the sake of this video, I'm just showing you what I do, you know, whenever I need to take another rest for the day. And it's 2 p.m. in the afternoon. And um, obviously I have more shit to do, you know, like clean my place and all of that. But thankfully, you know, I don't I don't feel bad if I'm not able to do the rest of the stuff because, you know, the fact that I try to do something today, that's big. So I'm thankful and I'm grateful that my body allowed me to do that today. So, yeah, I hope to see you guys on the next video. And um, I hope your day, you know, it's not so bad that the pain is letting you, you know, do a couple of things. 
and stuff and um yeah i will see you guys on the next one i hope you liked you know what my morning routine consists of oh also you know like i'm not always like like this you know there's times where i could keep going throughout the day and like keep doing more things and everything like that but right now i'm just doing what my body is asking me to do so that means take some rest or take a nap whatever it may be so yeah I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Take care. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my video. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.